Sometimes you feel like an Olympian doing backflips through these levels, and other times you feel like a blind deaf toddler that just falls down the stairs to the end. <laughs> What's up guys, and welcome to Finding My Husband's Egg Money. Now, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. If anything, well, I figured it wouldn't really be a week on the Captain Sauce channel unless I played some kind of poorly translated, nonsensical Japanese game for us to laugh at. Especially now that I've played so many of them and my Play Store recommendations are so tilted that this is the stuff I'm finding without even looking for it. Like this found me, and now I need to find egg money. Maybe an egg money stealer is like the Japanese version of a gold digger. Right? Like, uh, gold diggers don't actually dig for gold, it's just a turn of phrase. And I would imagine that a Japanese turn of phrase turned to English probably one too many turns to make sense. <laughs> there is no money here. Well, I can't imagine my husband would go and print that out in perfect English and then frame it if it were a lie. So we're just gonna take a look around, not for money, just for uh, anything else okay yeah you know what i'm thinking you're probably lying to me husband your egg money is mine i also feel the need to point out that this is not made by the same developers that did hidden my game by mom and all the other nonsense that i've been playing i don't know if this is like a popular genre in japan or something like that like, i'm not gonna accuse anybody of copying anybody else all that matters is that i get to laugh at it Every time I play one of these games, I can't be sure if that's like a picture of somebody else's husband, because it's clearly not mine, or if it's somebody standing behind a hole in the wall. <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out. I would imagine it wouldn't make it easy on me and put it anywhere there. It's probably something to do with the poster. Uh, I got bricks. Okay, uh, uh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? I just gave away all our egg money to the hairy wall lady. What just happened? I'm not gonna rule out the possibility that there's some kind of hairy, creepy lady living in our walls, but it might be that she's the landlord and that the poster is hiding the wall damage and we just tore that wall down into her apartment. So yeah, you know what? I can appreciate giving her that four bucks, but at the same time, I gotta get more egg money, for whatever reason, and I've tried interacting with everything here, so I feel like I'm missing the other half of the apartment and the money's just in plain sight. Lady, are you kidding me right now? You can so reach that! Like, just bend your elbow! You do not deserve a dime of egg money. You gotta be kidding me. That's why I need the bricks. Oh, clever. Okay, so we'll just climb up on this, completely destroy the house, <laughs> and steal from our husband. Yeah, we're the super winner. I like to picture my husband coming home after a long day of egg farming or whatever the Christ he does, and just finding the whole house torn apart, walls are ripped down, and his egg money is now missing. I'm such a great wife. Trust me. Uh, we got a smelly sock. Hiding the money in his sock. Must have been a poop sock. So we don't want to interact with the poop sock. As many wouldn't. You know what? That makes some sense. We're gonna go ahead and get a gas mask. That should help, right? We can use that and uh, some toilet paper. Not sure how these are gonna be combined, but... Yeah, okay. So what was the toilet paper for? For a second there, I thought we were just gonna go take the most rancid shit and then deal with the sock later. A hole in the wall and a plate of cheese. I can only imagine what is gonna come scurrying out of the cheese. Yep, go figure. So we don't wanna disturb the cheesy residents and instead we're gonna take a look around. There's nothing Oh, 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 oh! Oh! So, the cheese in the mouse was a red herring. They're really getting tricky quickly in this game. Do you think at some point my husband would come home and catch me? I'm curious what he would do if he found that I 
stole his egg money. Hello, dear. You are my husband, right? What are you doing in my house, sir? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's my husband, most likely. Okay, we're gonna need to distract him with uh, juice. Okay, we have juice and we have a towel. Juice and a towel. Um, can I just, uh, what? Maybe I need to use this crap before he shows up? Okay, that took way too long to figure out. <laughs> so now, we have a juice-stained carpet. That, that'll that piss him off for sure, right? <laughs> oh, it was oil. We have an oily floor. <laughs> Sucks to be you, and I probably should have used the towel to clean it up. That would only make sense, right? Why would anybody try to make sense with a game like this? Where did he go? I should have checked the other room to see if he's dead. He probably broke an arm or something like that, but I'm like, oh yeah, I got my fist full of single pills. He can't always be here, so he smartened up and locked the cupboard. Uh, excuse you? Please take your Oscar the Grouch cosplay out of my apartment. This is just a gross misuse of your powers, ma'am. How did you even get in here? Why is... There, an indiscreet boulder with a key under it <laughs> in my room, okay? Listen, my husband tries, but he's not the smartest, okay? <laughs> and we got our money. Right, don't want her to see it. Well, I can't turn off the light so that she won't be able to see me, and I doubt there's any help in here. No, okay, and there's never anything in the bed. Trust me, it's one of the big reasons I'm stealing my husband's money. There's just never enough in the bed. Can't touch the light bulb to kill myself. We can take the key and the boulder. Okay. So do I, oh, clever. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I already asked where the boulder came from, so you guys don't need to. Looks like Stuart Little's back, and I really doubt I should touch that cheese, so instead, I am gonna look for something to swish him with. Like a pickaxe, or a flashlight. What would I use a pickaxe or a flashlight for? Okay, well, I'm gonna assume that means dig there, even though my landlord's gonna be real upset if I tunnel through to her apartment again, damn it! Goddamn flashlight lied to me. There has to be something else here. Okay, maybe she won't be in the floor. Maybe we'll be able to find... He hid it under the floor, really? So again, the mouse and the hole in the cheese, it's all just a trap. Now you listen here, dear, okay? It might be your day off, but you can't just sit on the couch counting your money catcalling me. I, I won't accept it, okay? We just had the Me Too movement. Why don't you take a psychedelic mushroom and just melt into the couch? Just, just go ahead, there you go, and I'll go ahead and take that money. Again, I guess that four bucks probably wasn't worth the homicide rap. Maybe if we don't want to go a full-blown 10 out of 10 for the poison scale, we could just do like a five and give him a rotten banana, right? I'm sure if he's gonna crap himself, he'll get up and leave the money to us. And now we get all the psychedelic mushrooms to ourselves. I'm not even gonna ask why there's an obese fish on the floor of our kitchen. Instead, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it. Nope, we can't touch it. Okay, uh, we have vodka. All right, ooh, we got a lot of stuff. Yeah, who needs egg money when you got vodka and mustard sauce and uh, 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 pepper? Okay, do we wanna get the fish drunk? And spicy? <laughs> and mustardy? That Was that the correct order? Was there an order to this? <gasps> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Did I just get lucky? I'm willing to bet that that's what it was. I was supposed to get it drunk so that I could make it spite. Wait, that's a, it doesn't make sense, okay? I'm, I'm not even gonna try. In every successful relationship, you just gotta appreciate that sometimes your partner is gonna bring an obese fish into the kitchen and you're gonna have to get drunk with it and take a giant fan with you as well as a photo of him. Oh, he's here. 
and she's watching us. <laughs> Again, a gross abuse of your power, ma'am. How about we just uh, cover that up? And is he sitting on his money? Do we need to just like, oh, I never even noticed the difference. I just see you for who you are, honey. I, not the hair, even though, you know, your wig could be a little better. What do I do here? Do, oh, 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 clever. Okay, there we go. Now you go and get your money, and we're gonna have to go and invest that on fixing all the flooding dam. Actually, no, we won't. Right lady next door will. It's her apartment. We're just renting. Something tells me that agreement doesn't cover bull invasion, though. We're not getting that damage deposit back. Uh, do I touch it? Good bull, bad, bad bull, bad bull, okay. I'm not even wearing red, I'm just hanging out in my house. So we'll leave you alone and, uh, hey husband, you know that there's like a huge horny mammal in the other room and you're just here pumping a pillow? I don't really appreciate that. Uh. Oh, hey, uh, could you hold this for a second? Appreciate it. <laughs> Was the money in the pillow? I knew the money would be in the pillow. <laughs> He's getting real defensive over it. You know what? He doesn't want me taking his egg money. Really not dealing with that flooding now, are we? Okay, so there's a shark with our money taped to the side of it. When I said he was getting defensive, I... Didn't think you would get that defensive. What did you do with the money? You best not have invested that into stocks, okay? Everybody knows that that is very volatile. We needed to wait for a dolphin to bring it to us. I'm willing to bet that if I screw with the shark, things would have went poorly. In all reality, I didn't have time to make a mistake. Unlike this level, I have plenty of time to pick up the, the bomb. Oh, I don't need to put a bomb in a cannon. It's a cannon, right? You just light a cannon. Isn't that how cannons work? Yeah, there we go. And we'll blow a hole in the wall. Why do I expect to find anything but her behind the wall? At some point, the money's gonna be behind the wall. I I'm willing to bet. What are the odds they're screwing with me and they just put it, oh no. Nope, not back there. Okay, well then I guess we're just gonna light the bomb. She can't be behind both walls at the same time, right? Oh. So my husband did go and buy an antique cannon as a distraction. I need to talk to him about his spending. In all reality, that may be why I'm stealing his money, because he's just a complete idiot. We got a bike helmet, we got a soda. Okay, bike helmet and a soda. And I want a divorce. I don't really see how a soda or a motorcycle helmet could help us in this situation. <laughs> we gotta try something, so we're gonna go ahead and Superman dive and knock him out? Really? That worked? Wait, wait, so poisoning him is a loss, but knocking him out is a win? I guess we're fine with an assault charge with the theft, but not murder? So I'm not only a seasoned criminal, but also a vampire hunter? What is up? I can't take this little arrow here. Oh, okay, not vampire hunter, a uh, mummy hunter. Mummy in a coffin and not a sarcophagus. Again, maybe that's a Japanese thing. I feel like it's probably an everybody thing to avoid getting attacked by them though. So we'll head over to our husband who has his money in a water balloon floating over his head. All right then, and I'm guessing I need to find some kind of bow and arrow to take that out. I don't really know how good my aim is. Oh really? That's a dick move. Uh, can I have that back? I can't. So can I go and get this one? I still can't take this one. Why? Do I need to shoot the target? I keep expecting to just hit him in the nip. <laughs> just have a little red circle pour out on that white shirt. I don't, oh, maybe, no, I can't take it now. I thought maybe because I don't have an arrow I can take one, but I can't take this arrow. I have to be missing something, right? I can get my arrow, oh, what if I shoot this? Is that what you want from me, game? Or do I, oh, maybe I can shoot you. 
and then... Nope, can't shoot you anymore. What the hell? How are you doing? Oh, I killed him! I killed him! And now I get a chain! What the hell does that even... What does that even mean? <laughs> I'm so confused! I just murdered a mummy in his sleep and didn't even realize it! Sometimes you feel like an Olympian doing backflips through these levels, and other times you feel like a blind deaf toddler that just falls down the stairs to the end. <laughs> we got red paint, we've got books all over the floor, we've got red thread, and a rickety ladder. Okay, that, that's a whole lot of stuff. And we have a pig. Hello, piggy. We have a sheep. We have a bull. We have a pig. We have some kind of poltergeist, maybe? There's no way in hell the ladder's gonna work. It had a chunk taken out of it. I probably need to use these animals. So what if I use the red paint on the tree and then get you to charge into it? Is that good? Yeah, there we go. Now we're thinking. Back to Olympian status. Damn, I never realized that we are stacked. Our husband's a very lucky man, especially with the sliding Michael Jackson photos. No? Oh, we got a hat. Do we need to pretend to be Michael Jackson? And then take his position? Oh. What? Oh. Okay, that's some high-tech technology. It took a little convincing, but me and the husband finally decided to go down to the pet store and exchange our Michael Jackson room sensor for a turtle and an octopus. Seems like a fairly even trade, right? We, we also got uh, a piece of wood and a uh, net. We got wood and a net. Which one of you likes wood and which one of you likes a net? I, I would imagine... Oh! We, we got a much better trade-in for that sensor than I expected. We got three pets! I don't suppose you like the net. Uh, no. Can I just take that out of your mouth? No, it's not even gonna let me try. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Or not. Yeah, it's not a crocodile. It's a T-Rex, lady. So, well, I don't want to feed it the turtle. Right? I would imagine a turtle might be a little bit stronger than a stick, but I, I feel bad for the turtle. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, we got rid of all of his teeth! So we didn't ruin the turtle's life, we ruined the T-Rex's life. Wow, that's dark. Oh, come on, really? Like, why are you back again? <laughs> I don't even wanna open it this time. You know what, I'm just gonna do what I did last time. I'll shoot you. There you go, now you're good and double dead. Oh, oh! So he's different, and I can't shoot him. Who keeps bringing this crap into my house? I don't understand, was it you? The hired help? <laughs> Fixing up the wall after I put my husband through it? That's actually really funny. <laughs> I can't take anything here, can I? Uh, it's interesting that one of these are gray and one of these are yellow, but I can't... They just disappear? Can I shoot you? No, because that would be too much. Uh, oh, maybe I can dip it... I can dip it in gray. Oh, and maybe now if I shoot you with it... That would mean... I don't know what that means. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a little behind on my vampire lore, but I, I didn't think the color of what goes through him really mattered. Again, like Japanese vampires, for all I know, they don't suck blood. They could suck ass. I have no idea. <laughs> we got a plunger. Great. We've got uh, no toilets. Oh, we do have a toilet and another plunger. Ooh, why would we need two plungers? Interesting. And I can't turn the water back off. What's going on here? Do I use you? The toilet seems like the obvious answer. What if I plug you? Is that gonna, like, fill the room up? Right, if I, if I go and cut, mm, oh, and then I plug you, no, plug you, no, plug you? I'm confused. I found a snake. I feel like I was on the right path. It's like I said, the, the toilet's too obvious. I needed to close the toilet because obviously that is gonna make it watertight and I could fill my house for whatever reason. 
<laughs> Maybe we're both bad at spending money. You know what? Maybe this is an awful idea. Okay. But that worked, so they gave me two plungers just to make me pull that snake out of the toilet. Clever. We've got a key under the couch that I can't reach. We've got a pillow that only slides one way. A bone? Good. Uh, oh, a magnet? Also maybe good, so can I use you to get the key out? That would make sense. Okay, good, now we have a key. And we have the royal guard protecting the money. Okay, I think this is probably supposed to go there at some point. Uh, maybe I can magnetize you two towards that? Uh-huh, clever. Now, can I put the bone there? I'm afraid I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna get hit by some kind of crazy guard dog. Hold on a second, if I open you up, and then you don't look that mean, right? You're just a cute little poochie. Oh, he's gonna bring it back to me. Good boy. Uh, sword. Yes, got it. Nailed it. Money. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I just like to think of whoever created this. Who was like, yeah, you know what? We'll have them pull the guards down by magnets before feeding the dog to get the water balloon that's floating full of the money. The entire storyboard of this game must just be a fever dream. <laughs> oh, hey, husband. What you doing? Uh... See you later. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> we got uh, a poster of a of a bird. There's a bird up there. Weird. Okay, hold on. So if I use this, are you? Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna pick up my skull. Okay, that that's fair. So am I supposed to use this poster for some reason? Like if I put it. Oh. Oh, it was bird seed, not a poster. I see. And now I should get demolished by my husband, you ass. I probably need to use this thing to lock him in there. Okay, now I get it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, he's getting on my last nerves. I hope this has a happy ending. I'm really curious how this could possibly end. Considering we need to do this for a month straight, my guess is it ends in divorce, but you never know. <laughs> you never know. That is like the world's biggest cupboard. All right then, uh, we got a light bulb. We got a light that's already on. Dark over here, okay, uh, ooh, hold on a second. Not gonna get electrocuted today! <laughs> i plug you back in, uh-huh, guess who's learning? Uh, what? Oh, there's more. I gotta make my way over there? What the hell? Can I take you? I can't. So how does this work? I'm getting a little light flick sound, but no lights turning on, so I can't actually go in here. Oh, I didn't expect that. All right then, and uh, you might be useful somewhere. Oh, wait, can't I just use you to get the money? So why did the lights exist? The, the lights were a non-factor. I swear a lot of these levels want you to screw around trying to figure stuff out, and then when you realize that it was dumb, you feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. I have a stack full of money in my inventory to start this off. Okay, um, let's plug in the phone and call 911. Should I call my husband? Should I answer the door? Oh. My husband's over here with a very angry dog and he seems upset. Who's at the door? Did I call the police? Oh. Called the landlord. Why? Why the sentimental music? Why everything? So she's on the other side of that door whether I call or not. And I can't open the dog door and I would imagine I can't interact with my husband because of the very angry toothy dog here. Can I? Oh, I can pick up the toothy dog. Why can I pick up the two? Oh, maybe if I call now and the music changes and I send the dog out, it'll hopefully scare her fuzzy legs away and we have a delivery. Oh, here you go. Yeah, the, just take all of our egg money. Sure, now I have a present for husband because he's so stressed. It's a, a gigantic carton of eggs. Oh, it's a gaming computer. Yeah, I guess that's better than eggs. Is that the end of the game? I, I'm, I'm gonna assume that says the end. 
But you know what? I think that's gonna be it for finding my husband's egg money, guys. And I guess we were trying to save up a little bit of money here and there throughout the month so that we could buy him a gift to make him happy and we weren't actually stealing from him, but I'm pretty sure we still assaulted people at one point or another. So you know what? We're just gonna call it a wash. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.